Hi, Jeremiah Hales of Empower Physical Therapy. Today we're gonna to do uh, another yoga series. Um, today we're gonna to start on the ground and we're gonna do a few positions on the ground and we're gonna move into standing and we're gonna finish back on the ground at the end. It should be about 20 minutes uh, in length and uh, appreciate you watching. So cross your legs and I want you to sit up nice and tall. You're gonna breathe in pulling your stomach in toward your spine and reaching your arms overhead. Good, then we're gonna interlock our fingers and we're gonna reach to the right, stretching the left side body. Good, and then breathe out, come back to vertical, and then breathe in, stretching the right side body. Good, then breathe out, back up, and then breathe in, and look up at the ceiling and really try to point your chest up as high as you can arching your back and breathe out and then we're going to reach behind us breathe in right arm extending in front of you left arm reaching behind turning your head and looking at that left thumb and then breathe in arms up overhead and then breathe out turning the right arm around the body reaching behind you Left arm reaching ahead, looking at that right thumb tip, and breathing in. Good, and then we're gonna put our hands behind our head, we're gonna do some turning again. And breathe out, and breathe in. And breathe out, good. And then we're gonna reach behind our back, grabbing the right wrist with a forward palm. So I'm gonna grabbing the right wrist like this, but it's behind my back and I'm pulling that arm across. You can see my fingertips over here. I'm gonna breathe in and sit up tall. And then as I breathe out, I'm just gonna stretch my neck to the left. You should feel a nice stretch up the left side of the neck. Take two or three breaths here. Notice why I'm not leaning my whole body over. I'm just really trying to isolate the neck. Good, and then breathe in. Head back up to straight, reach up over your head. And then arms back behind your body again, same grip, palm against the inside of the wrist, pulling that left hand across your back and then reaching to the right with your head. Two or three deep breaths here. Feel your rib cage expanding, stomach is pulling in toward the spine. Good, we're gonna reach up, and I'm gonna turn around for this next stretch. We're gonna spin, or I'm gonna spin. Uh, so I want you to be able to see my hands. I'm gonna reach up, over the head, breathing in, and then breathing out, reach behind with your right arm, and up toward the shoulder blade, and then over the top with the left, trying your best to touch your fingertips together. Take two or three deep breaths here. Okay, on the exhale, you're gonna let the right arm drop slowly. For those of us that have shoulder discomfort or pain, that can be really hard to do. So take it very slowly and then reach back up over the head, breathing in and then breathing out, dropping down again with the left arm this time, reaching up the back and then over the top with the right. And we're gonna take two or three slow, deep breaths, stomach pulling in toward the spine. This is a great stretch for your shoulders. Most people that have shoulder pain usually generates from stiffness and in the internal rotation aspect of the shoulders. This is a great stretch for that. Good, on the exhale, drop the left arm down and then breathe in. Good, hands down on the legs, perfect. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna roll forward. So if you watch me, I'm just gonna kind of roll up over my knees. I'm gonna kick my legs behind me and we're gonna go into a high plank. So we're gonna hold the high plank, pulling the stomach in toward the spine, clenching the glutes and driving the shoulder blades apart, being careful not to lift, keeping the spine nice and straight. 
Good, now we're gonna lower down slowly, hovering just above the ground. And then extending up. And I like to lift my knees off of the ground for this, so I'm really creating a sling with my body and I'm driving my shoulders down. So I'm trying to keep the shoulders away from the ears. So here the shoulders are in my ears. And now I'm lifting away. This is the position I want you to try to get to. Looking up. And then we're gonna flip our feet and we're gonna go into a down dog. Keeping the spine nice and straight, dropping the heels toward the ground, raising your hips toward the ceiling. Good, now we're gonna lift the left leg. And we're gonna reach and we're gonna flip our dog like this. It's called flipping the dog. I like to look at my left hand. Good, then you're gonna reverse and right back to down dog with the left leg high. And then we're gonna reach through into a low lunge. Good, now we're gonna take the left arm and reach up. Two or three deep breaths. Good, we're gonna drop the right knee down and then I want you to bend your right leg. So you can see my foot, you're gonna grab your right foot with your left hand. And I like to keep my hand on the mat. Um, just pulling that right heel towards the glute. Hold for a little while, work on your breath. Deep breath in, all the way out. Breath in, all the way out. Good, I'm gonna slowly lower that foot onto the ground. That kills my knee, by the way, so if it bothers your knee, just try to lift off, good. Reach that left foot back, good. We'll lower down and hold. And then extend up. Dragging the shoulders down into the ground. Good. We're gonna raise the hips up, dropping the heels down, pulling the stomach in toward the spine. Good. Now we're gonna reach the right leg up this time, and we're gonna flip our dog. Looking at that right thumb. Raising the hips up, clenching the glutes. Good, we're gonna reverse and come back. So down dog, right leg up, and reach through into that low lunge. Nice. Couple of deep breaths, two or three. Good, drop the left knee down to the mat, bend the left leg, reach back and grab the left foot with the right hand. Two or three deep breaths and then I realized I forgot. One of our stretches, we'll go back to that. Good, drop the foot down to the ground and the stretch we forgot was the low lunge with the reach. So looking at the right thumb, breathing in, two or three deep breaths. Good, hand back down to the mat and this time we're gonna step up to where our right foot is. So right, our feet are right next to each other. We're doing a little hamstring stretch. Looking between your legs, Good. hands on your shins. You're gonna look forward and really try to flatten your back, keeping your stomach pulled in, raising straight ahead. Good, then we're gonna drop back down, a little stretch. Perfect, stand and reach up overhead. 
Breathing in deeply, looking up at your hands, breathing out, and bring your hands back down to heart center. I'm going to bring your right leg up and grab your big toe with your index finger, middle finger, and thumb. Now you can stay here if you'd like, this is a challenge, or you can reach out and try to extend your right leg. And I really am working hard at clenching my left glute to provide stability. And as you can see, my hamstrings are a little tight, so this is hard for me. Keeping the chest up, pulling the stomach in. Good. For those of you that are more advanced, you can bring your leg out to the side, and you'll want to look to your left. Do that. Good, bring the leg back in front, let go of the foot, and just hold your knee high. We're gonna do one more straightening of this leg without holding on to it. Try to straighten the leg out in front of you as high as you can. This is super tough. A couple of deep breaths, stomach is getting pulled in. Left glute's still super tight. Good, bend the knee, back down to the ground, and I'll walk it out a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna go left knee up. So breathing in. Good, we're gonna grab that left big toe. And then we're gonna extend the left leg straight. The right hand is on your hip. Right glute super tight, stomach pulled in. Two or three deep breaths. Extend the left leg to the side. As you can see, my leg is bent. <laughs> Again, hamstring issues. And we'll look to the right. Two or three deep breaths. Good. We'll bring the left leg in front. Release the toe. Keep that knee elevated. And then we're going to try to extend the knee as straight as you can. Keeping the stomach pulled in, left glute is tight. Two or three deep breaths. Good, bend the knee and back down to the mat. Good job, that was really tough. Okay, now we're gonna breathe in. Bring the arms down and we're gonna reach the right leg over the left knee, so you have to squat a little bit. It's called Eagle Mountain Pose. I'm gonna drop the right arm underneath the left, keeping the elbows at about shoulder height. I'm just gonna sit here and breathe. Stomach is pulled in. legs and then slowly extend the right leg behind you. Good. Hold for two or three breaths. Good. Come back up. Unwrap the arms. Reach overhead. Deep breath in. Drop the arms back down, and now we're going to lift the left leg. Reach over the right, wrap that foot behind your right calf if you can. If you can't, just let it hang out by the side, and we're going to go left arm under the right. Notice how my palms are together. Squeezing, stomach is in. Shoulders are being pulled down and back. Two or three deep breaths and unwrap the leg. Bring the knee high and then we're going to reach behind us. Find a point on the floor or on the wall you can focus on to work on your balance. Remember to pull the stomach in. up, unwrap your hands, and reach up over your head. 
breathing in and breathing out. Whew. Good job. All right. So we're going to work our way back down to the mat. Breathe in, arms overhead. Breathe out, reach down toward the ground. Looking through your legs, hands on your shins, look straight ahead, breathe in. Stomach's pulled in, good. And then reach to the ground, bring your legs back into that high plank. We're gonna lower down, we're gonna extend up. Breathing in, and then breathe out. Raise the hips high into down dog. Good. We'll come back to high plank. We're gonna drop the right leg underneath into the half pigeon. I like to hold my half pigeon high because I have some tightness in my hips and it can be kind of painful, but if you'd like to, you can drop down to the elbows and really kind of lean into it. Uh, if you have more significant hip problems, you can try this version where you're on the back and you're just pulling up. Two or three deep breaths and then we'll switch sides. Go back to a high plank, left leg up. And again, if you're on your back, just switch legs. I'm gonna stay high through mine. If you wanna drop down low, you can. Hold for two or three breaths. Remember to keep your stomach pulled in. Good. And then unwrap the leg. Knees to the outside of your mat. You're going to sink back onto your heels, reaching up towards the top of the mat. Forehead on the ground. Take your left hand to the left side of your mat. Take your right arm and reach over the left. Take three deep breaths here. Fill your lungs all the way up. Long, slow inhale, and then slowly exhale until there's absolutely no more air in your lungs. Side of the mat, so we're going to take the right hand to the outside, the right side of the mat, take your left hand, reach over the right, drop your head between your arms. Three deep breaths. center and we're going to just flip on the right butt and we're going to work on some abs and glutes. So for abdominal work we're going to do a boat pose. You lift your legs up. If a boat pose is really hard for you, you can keep your hands on the ground. But if you can do it, you're going to go palms up. Chest is up. Try not to flex your spine too much. Keep the chest high. Stomach pulled in. Shins should be parallel to the ground. Feet on the ground, palms flat on the ground, fingertips toward the feet. We're going to do a back plank. So you're going to raise up, crunching through the glutes. It's sometimes called tabletop. Good, then back down and back to boat. So this time with a boat pose, we're going to lower down, that's tough for me, and we're going to raise up, I had to use my elbow to cheat, and we're going to lower down, and raise up, I did it without the elbow that time, see if you can do it too, down, ah, up, good, then hands on the ground, feet on the ground, and raise up. Try to walk your feet, so raise the right foot. 
hold for about five seconds, foot down, raise the left. One more time on each leg. Good job, lower down. One more boat pose, feet up. Stomach in, chest up, and lower down. And raise up, good one. Two. Three, good job. Hands flat on the ground, feet on the ground. We're gonna do one more hip raise. This time we're gonna go uh, leg straight. So we'll do a full back plank. And raise your hips high. Try to keep your legs straight if you can. If you need to bend them, feel free. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Forgotten to breathe. Let's do three deep breaths together. Good. Good job. That was the end of the practice for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment below and I hope you have a great day.